The preemptive strike submarine is an incredible DDT buster, but how you should be crosspathing it is what we're covering today. To start, the 050 sub shoots a ballistic missile every 1.105 seconds that has 100 pierce and does 10 damage to balloons, with an additional 15 damage to ceramics and mobs. On top of this, it has an active ability that does 10,000 damage to the strongest balloon on the screen, and the explosion damages up to 80 more balloons for 350 damage. Finally, it has a passive ability that automatically deals 750 damage to every blimp that spawns, which is enough to pop DDTs. Now, crosspathing this guy does not affect his abilities in any way, so we're actually going to focus on the X3X ballistic missile submarine when determining how to crosspath it. Upgrading this guy to a 230 lets it fire ballistic missiles anywhere on screen instead of just inside its range. This is super useful if there isn't a great spot for the ballistic missile, especially on maps with multiple entrances. Compare this to 032, which not only lets it shoot its main darts twice as fast and makes each dart split into three air burst darts, but it also increases the attack speed of the missiles, which now fire every 0.87 seconds. This increase in DPS is very strong, especially if there are good placements for it. Now this is probably the most map dependent crosspath comparison that we've done, but if you're going with a preemptive strike submarine, then there is probably a good spot on the map for it. Because of this, the 052 submarine is generally the better crosspath. Why is it called permaspike if the spikes don't last forever?